Western Mongolia is home of the legendary Kazakh Eagle Hunters. Right here in the Altai Mountains is where our adventure began. It seems like we have all the elements to make a really special story. We have the theme of flight with the eagles. We have an amazing little girl who's only 16 years old and has already achieved so much. We have a gorgeous setting here in Mongolia that you just can't go wrong with. After months of pre-production, our team finally arrived in Olgi province in late November. The locals had all moved from their nomadic summer camps and winter was just around the corner. Our crew gathered from around the world for this 12-day journey that would take us to windy steppes and freezing mountain peaks. To do justice to Ashopan's incredible story, we filmed with anamorphic lenses on the Alexa Mini for a classic cinematic feel, all mounted on the DJI Ronin MX. One last time, I won't go so close. We're here at the uh, third highest mountain peak in Mongolia, and we're about to do our first scene of the documentary. Okay, we'll roll one more. Ronin is like, makes it look like they're gliding through. It looked really amazing. One hour ago, it was like huge wind. Actually, you can't see about like 10 meters because of like huge dusts. Martin and Ben has gone to scout in location. Mongolia is much colder than I thought. The air temperature is, oh, I don't know, maybe minus 40. The wind is incredible. Yeah, we definitely did not uh, anticipate wind. Anticipate the wind. <laughs> well, hopefully the wind is going to settle by midday. If your task was to come up with the worst environment to shoot in, that would be it. The Ronin was portable and versatile, making tracking shots possible in remote areas that would normally require a dolly and a grip team. We're just loading up our transport up to the top of the mountain. We're going to take the Inspire up there. And we're going to get some wonderful shots. With a small crew in such remote locations, having lightweight equipment is crucial. If we can get the one perfect aerial, we start moving in yeah. and she releases the eagle and then we follow the eagle as we pass yeah. Ashraf. The most important moments of the film were captured on the Inspire 2. We needed a drone that could fly reliably in the extreme cold and resist the high winds of the Mongolian steppe. When you've hiked all day and the sun's going down, there are no second chances. Your drone has to have enough flight time to get the shot and be agile and quick enough to follow one of the fastest birds on the planet. So you're going to be in the middle? Exactly. Then you can do the same with Ronin. Ronin, yeah. Yeah, that'll be a really cool shot, actually. So if we start low and rise above the dust. The biggest day of our shoot had no room for error. Trying to make the army look as big as possible. We want to make them look strong. Children's that here! All summer jet seekers in his birthday! Yeah, I think we definitely got the shot. I think I'm sliding out. You're holding me right. With so many moving parts, you need equipment that's reliable and easy to use. The Ronin was quick to balance and allowed us to get our shots in fewer takes, minimizing stress on the animal. That was phenomenal. 
This was a once in a lifetime experience for everyone involved. Action! We put both the Inspire 2 and the Ronin to the test in the toughest conditions imaginable. And they passed with flying colors. Thank you everyone for an amazing shoot. That's a wrap. <laughs> Our team had to endure many hardships and overcome great obstacles, but we always managed to make it through. Having the right tools was the most important element in capturing this empowering story about flight and evolving tradition. We will carry the experience with us for the rest of our lives.